During the turn of the century, the French army had made a request for an automatic machine gun system for the purposes of squad support and updating the armory for the ever-changing field of military doctrine and equipment. The Germans had already come up with the Maxim, showing the technological edge they had attained. The drawing plans for the Shosha had been formulated with a long recoil system based on John Browning's Remington Model 8 semi-automatic rifle. The objective was set to design a single-served manned portable automatic weapon. This would be known as the Shosha Sutter, as the first production variant, and later on in 1915, the mass production variant, CSRG machine rifle. The overall design of the rifle would be made throughout 1903 to 1911. A small series of 100 rifles were ordered in 1913 to be outfitted for use by French aircraft due to their light weight. However, it would not be a field use machine gun until the start of World War I. During the First World War, it had become dreadfully evident that the French army had no active light machine gun or support weapons for their troops to match the power of the Central Forces. The pre-war CS rifle was recalled and brought up to mass production standards, with the later variant CSRG being mass produced during the war in 1915, with production models populating the front lines by 1916. The CSRG was considered cost effective in manufacturing due to its cheap design and use of mediocre quality stamped plates. These flaws in manufacturing would drastically present themselves on the front lines, with many of the malfunctions costing lives and immediately giving the weapon a harsh reputation. The rifle was examined and a survey was conducted in 1916 by General Patton, which had concluded that a number of gross problems plagued the Shosha, noting the flimsy materials used, the magazines would often break or not feed, there was a window cut into the magazines so that munitions may be counted, however this led to debris and earth entering the magazine and resulting in two-thirds of all stoppages. The bulky nature and flimsy bipod made target acquisition and follow-up shots very difficult. The bolt would seize up and overheat after a sustained fire of just 120 rounds. The US Army, upon entering the war in 1917, had purchased and modified the CSR rifle into a 30 6 variant, which had through use proven to be just as difficult, as well as having an unmanageable full-auto version. The flaws had been apparent, with as many as 40% of the rifles being recalled for repair and maintenance and the other 60% having issues on the field when they would reach it. These flaws had led to many reports of US troops simply abandoning the Sosha and favoring the Springfield M1903 instead. 